Jira is a proprietary issue tracking product developed by Atlassian that allows bug tracking and agile project management. With the Case app for Jira, you can link case test cases and test runs to Jira issues. You can also create new issues in Jira when you file a defect during a test run in case. The statuses of a case defect and a connected Jira issue created through the integration app are also synchronized, whereby when you mark the defect as resolved in a connected defect, the Jira issue will also be marked as completed, and vice versa. Besides that, the links established between case test cases and Jira issues with the use of the Jira app can later be used to generate requirements traceability reports, which will be explained in one of the following videos in the tutorial series. To install the Jira Cloud app in your workspace, first log into your Jira account, then click Install Now on the Jira Cloud app card. You will be taken to Atlassian Marketplace. Click Get It Now there. On the following page, click Get It Now again. Once the app installs, you will see Case App on the Jira Apps page. Click Configure. On the Configuration page, click Link with Case. Click Authorize to finalize the installation. This will install the Jira Cloud app into your workspace. After installing the app, you can map the transitions of statuses between Jira issues and case defects. To do so, go back into the app card, click the three dots icon, click Settings, select a project, issue type, and click Add Transition. Then select the defect mapping. Note that the fields to the left are the Jira issue statuses and the fields to the right are for the case defect statuses. When you are done, you can save the changes. This can be configured for all your other Jira projects and issue types. With the Jira Cloud app, you can link Jira issues with case test cases. In your case repository, select a test case that you would like to link to a Jira Cloud App issue. Search for Jira Cloud App Issues. Insert the issue ID or the issue title. Click Search and then click the Link button. Now this issue has been linked to the test case. If you want to remove this linking, click X beside the title and the association will be removed. You also have the option to link a case test case to a Jira issue from Jira. In your Jira issue, click Open Test Cases in the Jira sidebar. Click Link a Case, then insert a test case title or its case ID into the field and click Link. If you want to remove this link, hover over the linked case and click the Trash Bin icon in the sidebar next to the test case you want to unlink. Note that you can link multiple cases to the same JIRA issue, as well as a single test case can be associated with multiple JIRA issues. Your test runs are not left out either. You can link a case test run to a JIRA issue by clicking Select an integration in the Run dashboard and then selecting JIRA Cloud. Insert the JIRA issue ID or title into the search box. Click the Link button and your JIRA issue will be linked with a test run. If you want to remove this external link, click the trash icon button and it will be unlinked. You also have the option to link a case test run to a Jira issue from Jira. In your Jira issue, switch on the case runs module through the options. In the module that appears below, click link a run. Use the search box to find the needed run by title and click link to attach it to the issue. The linked run and the statuses of the cases in it can now be seen in the issue. Also, this module would show you any test runs and the statuses of cases in them that were previously associated with this issue. When you assign a failed, blocked, or invalid status or any custom status of failure type to a test case in a run, you can create a case defect and a JIRA issue associated with it. Upon creating the defect, choose the JIRA integration, click Add Defects, then in the following modal window, select the JIRA project to create an issue in, type of an issue, and fill in the other fields. Those fields are pulled from your JIRA project, so you can fill out all the details you are expected to provide. When you're done, click Create. 
After you click Create, you will have a new JIRA issue that can be accessed from the Defects section of your test run. If you click the external issue title, it will take you to your JIRA project where you will see the newly created issue. When you open the defect in case and update the status, you can select which status the associated JIRA issue should be switched to. If you update the status of a JIRA issue itself, the defect will be moved into a status defined by the status transitions mapping that was set up prior. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles in our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.